Hi guys, this is Whitehead King, and today I'm going to be teaching how to make a simple um, armature rig for an arm or leg or anything you know that sort of has sort of one bend in it, if that makes sense. Um, so let's get straight into it. So uh, we're going to make the cube longer because we're going to use this as uh, our arm or leg. Um, best not to you know make a really realistic arm or leg. Uh, just make an example one. Okay, all I'm going to do is just going to subdivide it maybe three times, and then I think we just want to get some loop cuts in between all of these, like that, just to keep things a bit more even. Um, so yeah, that will be that, that. I think that worked well for the mesh. Um, so now uh, what we're going to do is, in fact, let's just see. In fact, yeah, let's select in edit mode, press B, and you can box select all of these vertices over here. Do that, and then press Shift S cursor to select it, and that will make the 3D cursor go all the way over here. Now we're going to add a up. Uh, press Shift A, go to armature, and choose single bone. Then press R 90 uh, while in front view, or you can just press if you're a bit insecure. You can just press R Y, and uh, that will do it as well. Uh, and then 90, of course. Anyway, so. Um, yeah, now that we've done that, uh, we can't actually see the armature apart from this little bit over here. So what we can do is just come along to here and choose X-ray. And now, no matter what way we look at it, it's always going to be visible, which is very useful. Okay, so uh, now what we're going to do is just, just go into edit mode on the armature by pressing tab, obviously. And then choosing the, or well, selecting the, uh, what would you call it, the little end of the armature right there. And then press uh, uh, G, X, and just bring it along to about halfway through, like that. And then do that again, and that will go right to the end. Um, okay, so, um, yep, yeah, right, now that's done. However, I usually prefer to use B bones for my... Uh, armatures so that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to just in this panel still here just choose B bone and uh, now we've got a B bone and if you want it to be you know wider or thinner because you might have a really wide one uh, you can just press control alt s and that will uh, sort of uh, oops that will let you um, adjust how thick they are so I'm going to have that amount yeah I'm going to have that okay so um yeah, that should do. Right then. Next step is to uh, sort of create the controlling bones, if that makes sense. So to do that, I'm just going to um, hmm, let's see. In fact, let's just add a completely new bone entirely. So selecting the end one, I press Shift S cursor to selected, and now I'm going to press Shift A, and that will automatically add a new bone while in edit mode on the um, armature. That is. Okay, then I'm going to press R90. And, uh, ooh, hang on. It's just, uh, but yeah, R90, and then just bring it down, um, like that, and try and make it fit roughly. In fact, let's make it just above the whole, uh, well, you know, just above stuff, basically, in height. And then I'm just gonna bring it in, it doesn't have to be that big, and this is basically just gonna be a controller bone, um, which is just gonna basically control the bones that we have here okay so now that we've done that um, yeah that's uh, that's that so now if we go to pose mode um, what you can do is just select uh, this bone here and this one then press shift I and choose to activate bone in fact that's probably the wrong way around this one first then that and then do it and now as you can see, when we move this around on the x-axis, the arm will bend. And if we bring it down to the uh, under, uh, underneath, halfway down, uh, you can then bend it the other way. So that's the the basic rig, but it's not actually bending our cube. So uh, let's just press Alt G on that, and it will just reset it to its normal location. Uh, go into object mode select the cube, in the modifier section, add modifier, armature, uh, then that armature uh, that we've just made. Now, um, what it will do is uh, 
or the cube will bend, but it's bending in quite a weird way. Um, I don't know if that's there, there is another way to do uh, this, so do not worry. Um, okay, just delete that modifier. What we're going to do is just select the armature, not select the cube, then the armatures, and then press Control P and choose with automatic weight. And uh, I think that will also give it. Yeah, it's all also. Yeah, sorry. It's also given it a um, uh, what would you call it? A modifier, but uh, it, we might have some different results. Yep, it just looks a bit better. So um, yeah, you might want to try that method as well. Okay, so I um, hope you enjoyed uh, and learned stuff from this. This has been Whitehead King. Uh, sorry, it's quite short, boring tutorial. I just want to get something done because you know, um, just to still be active really, because I've got loads of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, you get the idea. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Visit my website. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, all the stuff that I said you could do there are in the description. So yep, thanks for watching and goodbye.